All right, so let's go and look at this problem. Now, again, if you guys notice, when you're doing this, the first thing you're going to want to do is always get rid of the negative. You guys should know now we can't take the square root of the negative. However, we can't take the square root of negative 1, but we at, least have a num we at least have something to represent the square root of negative 1, right? Which is i. So the first thing I'm always going to do is just break it apart into 24 times negative 1. Okay. Now, is 24 a square number? Can I, take, can I take the square root of 24? No. However, is there a square number that divides into 24? 4. So is it OK if I write the problem like this? 4 times 6 times negative 1. Do you guys agree with that? That's still negative 24? Yeah. Yes. You guys agree? OK. Can I take the square root of 4? Yes. That's 2. I can't take the square root of 6, so that remains there. I can't take the square root of negative 1, but we know the square root of negative 1 represents i. Now, this is correct. However, what students make mistakes on is they sometimes do this, which is incorrect. So to avoid making this mistake in math, we like to write the i after the number. And it, we always like to write the i in front of the square root. Okay? This is still correct. But I just don't want you guys making the mistake of putting, actually putting this over, because then it would be wrong. So when we're dealing with square roots in the answer, always write the i in front just to avoid making that mistake. Okay? Everybody understand.